hello and welcome back to the channel first of all i'd like to apologize for this video coming out later than expected i had planned on releasing it a couple of weeks ago not long after the seeker hints and tips video however things have been super busy my end which has put a bit of a hold on this video now that being said i've finally got around to doing it and it's also enabled me to have a bit more time playing the hide and seek mode to try and flesh this video out a bit more uh, and give a bit more to the hider role now, Hide and Seek seems to be a pretty easy game mode no matter which side you're on, it's a bit weird like that. As a Seeker, it seems super easy for five of you to hunt down one person, but when you're a Hider, it seems just as easy to avoid being caught by five Seekers. Now, I'm sure you guys know the rules of Hide and Seek by now and the premise of the game mode. Seekers have to chase down the Hiders and ensure they don't reach the end zone, and Hiders have to avoid being caught for four minutes, then reach an end zone. Simple premise really, but a ton of fun. Now we've already gone over some hints and tips for being a good seeker in a previous video so as promised today we're going to go over some hints and tips for being a good escape artist under the role of hider. To start with you have a choice of only four cars as a hider. Now all of them are of course a lot worse than the seeker's car options however it is pretty easy for you to pick one of the four and stick with it. Personally I'd recommend picking a favourite that works best for you and your playstyle and stick with it. So for me it was the Jeep as you'll see for these clips, however you pick whichever one you prefer. Some more options would of course be nice in a future update, however I'm not holding my breath on that. Also note that the map selection is shown in the top left hand side of the screen at the time of picking your car choice, so that might sway your choice of car as well. If you prefer to mix it up based on the environment you'll be driving in, that's one way of looking at it if you don't want to pick a favourite. Now when you start off you'll of course be at the opposite end of the map so you'll be quite far away from the seekers. This puts you at a great advantage as the seekers don't know your exact location. They just have a basic radar that points them in your generic location until they get closer when the radar will fill up and they'll pretty much have no clue which direction you're in. So the best way to start is to not bother blending in with the AI as intended but instead drive to the furthest edge of the map and basically just try and flank them, go in the opposite direction that they're coming in. The other advantage you have over the Seekers is your map. So you have one and they don't. Besides the OP perk you have, which we'll touch on in a minute, this is probably your best tool in evading the Seekers. You'll be able to tell where they are at all times, knowing exactly where they are, which makes evading them that much easier. You'll know which direction they're coming from, so you can always go the opposite direction, or if they're hot on your tail, you can even turn around and head towards them, which gives you another head start as, over them, as obviously they'll just lose ground when turning around and then trying to catch up to you. Now, as I mentioned just a minute ago, you of course have a perk that is very much OP as a hider. So it's called the Chase Breaker, and it effectively acts like an EMP. So it brings the Seekers within a certain radius around you to a stop, and turns you into ghost mode, so you can go right through them to escape which is great obviously if they've got you pinned or cornered you can just go through them and get out of there and they won't be able to go anywhere very fast because they'll be slowed down for a few seconds now compared to their perk which just pings your location for a few seconds this massively outweighs their extra player advantage over you talking of I'd personally recommend holding off on using that chase breaker until more than one of the seekers is on you if you can that is. This way it means that more of them will be slowed down and no stragglers that were out of the radius of your chase breaker can catch up to you as your perk does have a cooldown period of 30 seconds. So use it wisely and it will of course change the game for you. Like I said when there's more of them around you more of them will be affected by your perk. Just works better that way so if you can hold off for a few more seconds for another one to catch up with you that's when it's best to use it. Now as I touched on in the earlier on don't bother trying to blend in with traffic. When undetected, speed really is your friend in this game mode as a hider, but your opponents obviously won't know that until they discover you. Chances are they'll think you're trying to blend in with the traffic, which is obviously the game, what the game mode intends, so they'll probably be wasting their time smashing into AI cars, especially when they get closer to you. That's all they'll be trying to do, when actually you could just be bombing around the outside of the map, going to the complete opposite end or trying to get out of there as quickly as possible. Finally that brings me on to the environment and using the environment of each map to your advantage. So for example playing in Guanajuato you can use a lot of the side roads and the underground tunnel system to trick the seekers. At the end of the day they don't know where you are or if you're below them. So chances are they'll be looking for a way down if you're in the tunnels, if they realise that is that that's where you are and by the time they get there they'll, you'll probably be long gone let's be honest 
Or if you're playing in player as you, for example, you can use the dense jungle to your advantage by trying to avoid all of the trees, which will just create more obstacles for those chasing you down. Obviously, they'll try and hit you as hard as they can and try and chase you down as fast as they can. So they'll be pr more prone to making escapes, uh, making mistakes, sorry, and crashing into trees and solid objects that will massively hold them back. Obviously, you want to be a bit careful yourself in there because you could also run into the same problem. However, if you take it a little bit slower, I mean, you are in a slower car anyway, you'll definitely have an advantage over them. Also, chances are most of them will probably be trying to chase you down in supercars. So when you're in sort of areas that are very boggy or filled with water, you'll automatically have an advantage as all of the Hyder cars are basically four befores. Higher ride height will make it easier in those areas for you to escape. The other thing to note though is try and avoid the flat areas that allow the seekers to use their top speed against you as you will not be able to outrun them in a straight line. Obviously they have a much bigger choice of cars to pick from and they are all better and all quicker than the cars you've got. So trying to use the sort of denser jungly areas will work massively in your favour compared to the long straight roads or the beaches for example where they'll just have a much better chance of being able to catch up with you although if it does come to that you can of course use your chase breaker which will slow you slow them down but you've got a recharge on that so you better hope they don't catch up in time before the end zone appears but apart from that those are pretty much the basic uh, and main hints and tips for being a good hider in this game mode it's fairly self-explanatory but it's always good to explore your options now i'm sure that you guys have also got some of your own methods of trying to be a good hider and i'd love to hear them down below in the comments so please please do let everyone know how you guys are being successful as the hider but hopefully this video did help you out and will give you a bit of an edge against the opposition next time you play hide and seek. If it did, I'd very much appreciate A, if you could let me know down below in the comments, uh, but B, if you could also like this video. And subscribing massively helps me out if you haven't already. But like I said, hopefully this guide did help you out. Uh, and will hopefully make you a successful hider and if you haven't already check out the seeker video as well for top tips and being a good seeker apart from that folks though i want to thank you very much for watching make sure you'll stay safe and take care